Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Taddy G and on this channel I talk all things business, small business, running a clothing brand and I get super super transparent and deep. One thing I pride myself on is my clothing brand website because I speak spent a lot of time and energy into creating and curating a luxury website and I feel like I have definitely achieved it in some way shape or form. I created my clothing brand website using Shopify. I will have a link to Shopify down in the description. You can try it out for free for two weeks and then subsequently you can pay one pound per month for three months. One thing that I don't enjoy about you know hiring somebody to actually develop your website from scratch is that you will always need to go back to that developer to change things like say if you want to add products or anything along those lines but with Shopify once you've learned how to use it once you've learned the back end you can pretty much go in there and do everything yourself I first learned Shopify when I was working for a small business they used Shopify and I learned how to you know use the back end a little bit and you know process orders and all of that sort of thing and it was really easy it linked very nicely into Royal Mail so when I was printing and shipping orders everything was so seamless so when it now came to creating a website for my own business I knew that I wanted to use Shopify so please be sure to click the link in my description and definitely sign up for Shopify today. And this is not even sponsored by them, I wish. In this video, I'm going to dive in to some top tips for creating a luxury website. And obviously top tip number one is to use Shopify. Now Shopify does have like some basic templates, but definitely look into exploring some of their paid templates because they're quite nice. Like I use a paid template called prestige and i really really like it and i feel like it's the main reason why my website is so good if i do say so myself so you're using shopify to host your website great the next thing you're going to want to do is to ensure that you are using high quality content for your homepage, for your blog posts for your product images so with the luxury you do have to have a little bit more of an investment your first investment is probably going to be dabbling into the idea of using a paid template and not the free ones that Shopify offers your next investment is going to have to be your photography the campaign images that you're going to be using on this website so take time and think about how you want those images to look the next thing and probably one of the more important things as well I feel like everything I'm going to mention is very important but this is very important <laughs> and that's having a consistent theme throughout your website what I mean by that is matching colors matching fonts and basically a matching aesthetic for your brand when it comes to my brand, my colours are navy blue, orange and white with hints of grey. And I keep that consistent theme throughout my website and that ties in with my packaging and my hang tags and everything. People know that when they shop Shiva Shiva, something's probably going to be navy blue and something's probably going to be orange and i just feel like those two colors just tie in so nicely another key thing is ensuring that your website is mobile friendly shopify does this really well like it ensures that your website is mobile friendly without you actually needing to do much that's another thing that i love about shopify i definitely have a lot more visitors via mobile than i do desktop so ensuring that the mobile version of my website looks just as good as a desktop version of my website is definitely a major key now now, I don't know whether this is a personal preference, but when I created my website, I did visit a lot of luxury websites. Their main aim of this video is to give you tips on how to create a luxury website, yeah? What I discovered was that a lot of the product photography was on a plain background. For my website, I use a very, very light grey just so that it breaks itself away from the white background of the overall website. Another key thing that I found when it comes to product photography is flat lay photography because it just makes the overall website just look clean. So I do use both flat lay photography and model shots as well and for some of my products I also have video. So I tackled it from every angle because of course flat lays are great because they look clean and clean consistent across the page but people want to see how it fits 
so that's why model images are important and then people might want to see how the item moves on the body and that's when video comes into play so that's why i try and tackle all three make sure your website is easy to navigate visitors need to be able to find what they're looking for easily otherwise if you're like me anything like me i never used to shop on what website was it oh, i can't remember what website it was but i just thought it was just like really complicated and it just used to put me off so ensuring that your website is really easy to navigate is definitely a major key when it comes to creating a website that is a luxury and b just functional now the next point might sound a little bit waffly but that's creating a prestige around your brand we're creating a luxury website out here guys you can do this by creating like a prestige about your collection giving your collection a name giving a story i have like a magazine page on my website and i don't know i feel like it just adds a little bit to the story and on the magazine page that's when I talk a bit more about my collection the thought behind my collections how I came about my collection I even talk about the fact that I manufacture in Italy and you know why that's important to me instead of just having blogs I kind of treat it almost like a magazine whether I stay consistent posting is another story but it's there in it so a lot of the time when I create these videos I do research as well so I add my own tips and and then some research tips now one thing that i don't even do myself on my website but i definitely want to look into implementing it and seeing whether there's some apps on shopify that can help me implement this and that's creating a personalized shopping experience and to do that you could do it by like even having like virtual shopping assistants or shopping stylists people to help um somebody that's a visitor on your website you know find what they want but i feel like that comes more into play when you start building larger collections and having like a plethora I don't know if that's the word but a large range of different garments or products I feel like that will probably come into play I feel like when you're a little bit smaller maybe you can more concentrate on helping them decide you know what kind of fit they want to go for so maybe they're struggling between like a small and a medium so you're like do you want it a bit oversized or do you want it to fit snug like helping them in that sense or maybe they want to find something to match with the garment if you have something on your website that would match with it then you can help them in that sense now another key thing about running not just a luxury website or creating a luxury website but this is in general and that's optimizing your website for speed on shopify it will show you the rough speed of your website and the way to actually improve the speed of your website is to actually upload smaller images but then you don't want the images to be too small because then that distorts the quality of the image so like it it's a toss up of playing between like sizes what i have found is that uploading jpegs is usually better because they tend to be smaller than like a png image and just trying to ensure that you're uploading a relatively large jpeg that's of high quality but not too large it's finding that fine balance and then just doing that for the images on your website and ensuring that you are optimizing your website for speed another the key thing that's universal for both luxury websites and whatever website is streamlining your checkout process and integrating things like paypal express checkout because things like paypal express it encourages impulsive purchases and those are well important because you want some people that are just like f it <laughs> i'm just gonna buy it and we love those sorts of customers so make sure that you are providing a checkout experience that caters for that kind of customer lastly and by no means least and probably some something that i feel like people definitely neglect i've definitely seen this on multiple websites and that's not including an faq page a frequently asked questions page that is so important because some people just need their questions answered and i feel like having a page like this just shows that you've put time and effort into your website and you've created a well-rounded website and there's no question that is too dumb like you can even have like questions that are like how do i even place the order you would think that that's like a dumb question 
but somebody out there might need that question answered so definitely work on your faqs what you can do for that is visit multiple different websites and read their faqs and kind of sort of copy the questions but answer them relevant to your business so guys i really really hope that this video has been helpful and you've learned a thing or two happy creating luxury websites guys like i said i'll have shopify linked in the description so that you can definitely go ahead and try them out for a pound guys for a pound but yeah please be sure to subscribe and i will catch you guys in my very next video